set, survive being hit with a lightsaber? And I'm going to go ahead and say that the answer is... Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the BND Bricks channel. Today we're going to be doing a review of the LEGO Star Wars set 75359 Ahsoka's Clone Trooper Battle Pack. This set came out last year, it retails for $20 with 108 pieces and has 4 minifigures which we'll get into obviously later in the review. So we'll be using my normal 5 category review system for this video, although I've tweaked some of the values on each category because obviously like this is a battle pack, there's going to be a higher emphasis on minifigures, lower emphasis on the build. But without further ado, let's get into the review. So starting off looking at the build, we're going to be doing the design and durability categories. So starting off with the design, this is what is called a clone swamp speeder, the build for this set. Um, very good like very neat looking ship in general. This is originally seen in Star Wars The Clone Wars. I don't think it was originally seen with the 332nd Troopers because I believe that was like all on Mandalore. But it's fine. We would have, they would have had one of these eventually anyway. And this is just sort of 501st colored. I really like the blue accenting on this with the curved blue piece underneath the, the like the windscreen. Good overhang, like a cage like you would see in a car. And then on the back, you can see the engine. All very nice. Considering how small this is, I, I'm not sure if it's many figure scale, but I'm sure it's pretty close. Um, it's like it's pretty accurate. I, I do really think that it's like, they did a good job with it. Two seats there, of course, that would be more durability, like playability. Although kind of designed in this, the way I've kind of said it, two clips on the side, which you can use to put in your clone troopers' weapons if you're storing them, so you're not using them. All very nice. And then two stud shooters in the front. That's also there. Uh, it's a little bit cumbersome. Not a huge fan of the stud shooters, but these look okay. So overall, for the design category, I think I'm gonna actually give it a two out of two. I think that overall, like it's a good design. This is all we needed. Obviously, this is a battle pack as well, so we didn't need too much else. However, with the design category, there is one other build that was a part of the set, and honestly, I, I think we could have done without it. That was probably done to pad out the piece count, although, uh, like, those three pieces I don't think mattered that much. Now into durability. So this category is only worth one point on the set just because I don't think the durability is super important on a battle pack. Um, so to do this, we're just going to do a small test. I'm going to, well, you'll see. The question we all want answered is, can this set survive being hit with a lightsaber? And I'm going to go ahead and say that the answer is... Yeah, we're going to give that a no. Now on to probably the most important category of the video, the minifigures category. So this is a battle pack. Obviously, you're buying this because you want to get a bunch of minifigures. So starting off with our first minifigure, we have the plain Ahsoka Trooper. This is the normal 332nd clone trooper, no backpack or anything. It uses the same body as the 501st Trooper, which I have one here that we saw in 2020, the original of the 2020 style clone troopers. This is also the same body that was used on the original 332nd trooper in the AAT set that came out a couple years ago. So nothing big here. It's actually very nice because you can blend in them in your army pretty seamlessly. Next up, of course, we've got the jet trooper, which is basically the exact same thing, but with a blue jet pack. Our other clone trooper is gonna be the same as this. And all three of these come with just like regular standard issue rifles or blasters. So nothing too special there. But then our last minifigure, Commander Vaughn. So this is, I wish I could say that this was special, but it's not. Literally the exact same printing as the 501st Trooper on the front. It has a little badge in the top right corner, which is slightly different, but like whatever. And then on the back, he has a jetpack print, which you could just cover up with a blue jetpack if you wanted to. But this is, again, Lego being lazy and not doing an actual jetpack, just like they did with Commander Cody. So the lack of originality with this minifigure is actually fine because... I mean, in my Clone Army video, which you can see on my channel, I like it when my Vons just blend in my army because that makes it so that you can get a lot of these battle packs and you don't have to worry about having a bunch of duplicates of a clone commander that you don't want. And then another reason that it's really fine is because if you look at Vaughn's like actual armor design in Clone Wars, it's very similar to this. Like it's not, it's not a big deal. His armor isn't very unique anyway, so just it's okay. Overall, for this set on the minifigures category, I'm gonna give it a three out of four. So now we're just past halfway. So make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe if you're enjoying the video so far. I'm gonna have some more reviews out and another video later this week about Lego video games. So you know, keep an eye out for that. But on to the fourth category and second to last. This one's just gonna take a second. The price category. This is largely based on price per piece. So obviously. $20 for 108 pieces is not ideal. Um, however, these clone troopers are like very good. E even if you're not a fan of the 2020 style helmet, the bodies are great. It's the best ones we've ever had. The jetpacks, jetpacks are nice, of course. Even though they do cut some corners, especially with the Vaughn, it's okay. And for the $20 price, getting four minifigures, it's $5 per minifigure basically with an extra build. Um, it's still a really good deal considering like with the CMF from this year, it's $5 for one of each character. Overall for the price category, I'm gonna go ahead and give it the one out of two because it would have been nice to see this at like $15. However, I understand like why they don't, but even still, uh, I'm just gonna give it the one out of two for this. 
And then our fifth and final category, the impression category. This is a category that I introduced in my last review with the Lego Star Wars Luke's Landspeeder UCS set. Based on does this set really leave an impression on you? Like, is this a set that you remember? Um, and no, this does not get the impression point because this is a set that's just kind of like, eh, it's there. It's a good battle pack and like it's good to get a couple of, but obviously like you don't want your full 501st army to have Ahsoka Trooper helmets. It also makes orange visors and antenna more accessible for people that can't afford the ATTE. Uh, zero, zero out of one for that, but it's still it's still good. That's that's the p point that's really hard to get. So now that uh, leaves us with a total of six out of ten for the score on this set, um, I, which is I think fair. It's a six out of ten, of course, isn't bad. Anything above five is still pretty good. This just like there are better battle packs to pick up, especially on sale for sixteen dollars at Walmart if you can find it. Um, one hundred percent get at least like one or maybe two. Like it's a great deal on this, and it's good to have just eight or four or eight extra clones in your army. Always nice. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.